What's up everyone, today I'm going to be taking out the Vivo X100 Pro for some street photography and I am filming this intro on the video right now. I'm using the main 1 inch type sensor, so let's see how it looks with stabilization and all of that. I don't have any fancy ND filters for anything today, and uh, I also tried to hook up the Sony vlog monitor to this one to see if it would work, and as I, as I expected, it does not work. So it is quite overcast as we can see today. Hopefully, uh, it's quite windy as well, so hopefully the mic can pick me up, and I say we just get into it because I'm super excited to see what this can do. Okay, so the very th first thing that I actually want to show off with this is, so we have a pro mode here, right? We have tons of options here. What I'm going to be doing is shooting in the raw format because that one allows for just some other stuff. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll do some super raw too. So, as I was saying, the very first thing that I want to show off is check out this minimum focusing distance. Look at this. This is just incredible to me. So, one thing I have noticed is that if my shutter speed is too low, it's definitely going to be blurry. But look at that. That's so close. So I'm going to do a mix of the regular raw format and maybe some super raw stuff as well. See what it, uh, what it looks like. And by choosing these, it automatically does raw plus JPEG. So you can choose just JPEG here. And then if you choose either of the other raws, it will do raw plus JPEG. So the telephoto here comes out to about 100 millimeters in terms of uh, focal length. And we are using a one inch type sensor as well on the, uh, the main camera here. I really like this blue and white with these uh, staircases here. So maybe I can see if we can make something out of that with the standard or maybe even the ultra wide. Maybe nothing super interesting, actually. Maybe we can try just an ultra-wide straight on like that. Alright, so one thing, right, is check this out. This is going to be the main cam. We can see the kind of subject separation already. Just from being a large sensor. Then actually, look what we can do. I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna get run over. Is look, if we hit the telephoto, take a look at that. Quite a nice result from uh, from all of the lenses this time around. Actually, I kind of like that light pole. I've not actually played too much with the uh, the ultra wide photos yet, so I have no clue whether I'm gonna like them or not. But uh, one of the things that I really disliked about the Xperia 1 Mark V was that no matter what, the telephoto shots for me just came out looking absolutely horrible. So uh, having at least two really good sensors on this one. So I love the Xperia 1 Mark V main sensor, but the telephoto man. So like having having for sure at least nice main cam and telephoto shots. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. The only thing is, I have to, I find that I have to be super stable. And I also have to make sure I have a pretty high shutter speed if I want, uh, if I want the telephoto shots to come out nicely. As you can see, this little plant's waving around in the wind, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get a clear shot while still trying to keep the ISO super low. But yeah, the telephoto on this Vivo X100 Pro, my goodness. 
it's so it's so liberating and so like creatively freeing to be able to have a close focusing telephoto like this the kind of shots that you're able to get even if uh even if some of them aren't like jaw dropping incredible even if it's just for the sake of information some of the kind of shots that you're able to take with this telephoto is just incredible it's so cool having a hundred millimeters of like sharp results to play with I'm gonna have to relearn what kind of shots I like to take using 100 millimeters. I've been so used to only using 24. So like take a look, for example, at this little, this tree branch right here, right? Let's see just how close we can get to this while blowing out the background. Look how close I am to this. This is insane. The natural blur that you get from being able to focus so closely at 100 millimeters, I can't stop raving about this. Oh, we've got someone taking pictures up here. That kind of shot right there, I don't think I would have ever gotten that with the Xperia. What about like in here? Maybe I can do something with the ultra wide with some of this funky looking architecture. That's not it. Ooh, what about this way? So the ultra wide on this one is, I believe, only like 15 millimeters equivalent. And I don't think I mentioned, but not only does the telephoto offer close focusing, so does the ultra wide. So check it out if we walk right up to this little sign right here. See how we can focus super close with that. Then we can also switch to the telephoto, right? And we can also focus super close. Just the amount of like creative freedom that that gives, it's crazy. You'll notice in the exit data as well that I uh, show with the pictures that you'll see a lot of things are not the uh, the normal kind of steps that, uh, that Sony lets you do in terms of like ISO and all that. You'll see it's like super completely linear so you can get really funky numbers. But uh, in the end that just allows you even more control, which is amazing. Oh, we've got a bunch of dancers coming up here. Maybe I can sneak some pics. I wonder if that's, if that's weird. There's always groups of, uh, of dancers here, like 24-7. We came here super late at night, and there were still just like four groups dancing their heart out, dancing their hearts out. Actually, what about this boat? I like the colors of this boat. Hopefully it's okay to walk here. I didn't really check. Look at that boat, that's a nice boat. All right, we're gonna try and keep it at 1 80th of a shutter. We're gonna use uh, this rail to help stabilize. I don't think I'm gonna try and sneak a picture of any of them dancing, but check out these flowers. Oh, these look really nice, and they have some water on them too, so check this out. Look at this close focusing. Oh my gosh, let's uh, increase the shutter speed a bit because they're waving about in the wind. But look how close we can get. That is amazing. So hopefully I can hold my breath. And let's see, should we get here? All right. <gasps> That looks pretty good in the preview. I'll know for sure once I get them on the computer and start editing them for real once I get into the raw files. But man, oh man. You reckon I could get a bird? 
I've got some birds flying around. Maybe I can get a bird. If I notice it quick enough. Oh, actually, look at this. We've got some ducks over here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looked like it was good. Let me try and get another one if he looks this way. There we go, little dude. Look at you, you little cutie. So we'll see how crisp that looks. Maybe I can uh, crop and post. You guys don't understand how fun it feels to be able to use a telephoto, man. Going, oh, what about this one? It might be waving around too much and I might not be able to get it at a good ISO there. I mean, you know what? Let's try. Let's try one like this. It's going to be quite high ISO. I don't know if it's going to look too good. We're even going to try and increase our shutter speed a bit. A thousand ISO on the telephoto? Let's see. right here no too close see I'm not used to a hundred hundred millimeters yet it's pretty tight it's also super flat today as you can tell the weather's been really like uh, yeah really moody the past couple days it's been pretty rainy I like, how, I like how open it is right here. It feels pretty open on the water. Maybe something like this? I, there's no subject, but... You can see the ultra wide is actually not like incredibly wide. I think I've seen some people complaining about that, but I quite like around 15, 16 millimeters actually. I don't like the incredibly like super distorting kind of ultra wide look. So I'm not too miffed about that one. I quite like it. And if the results look good, then that's about all I can ask for really. Anything cool with the stairs? Maybe like that. Trying to use my uh, my grids there. You know, composition and stuff. Oh, you know what we could try? A hundred millimeter panning shots. Is this far enough for panning? I wonder. Kind of. Got another bicycle. If you're leaving, go right now. Don't make me wait just to. Oh, actually, look at that. That's super clear. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. ISOs are going to get higher, and we're going to struggle to get decent looking telephoto shots for sure. Yeah, sorry if the shots aren't too interesting today. I haven't been, uh, I haven't been out shooting for a while. My creativity has been pretty not great, but hopefully we could show off some super awesome, you know, super awesome capabilities that this thing has. No, 
I don't want any cars. Actually, that's cool. All right, I think that is gonna be it from me today. Once again, maybe the shots weren't all super creative, as cool as I would like, but yes, definitely had fun with this thing and I cannot wait to take it out even, even more. And yeah, watch out for some, uh, some upcoming videos, content and all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next one.